Hey guys, Everything Technology here, and LG hooked me up with a brand new LG G6, and after using it for almost a day, here are my first impressions on it. But keep in mind that this is not the official unit, so if I mention any problems with it, LG is for sure going to fix it with the official model. First off, the brand new LG G6 looks pretty different from its previous predecessor, but it still has that familiar LG design to it, especially in the back since you still have the dual cameras with the fingerprint sensor that doubles up as a home button. And speaking of the back, this specific colorway kinda reminds me of the jet black iPhone 7, so this is bound to be a huge fingerprint and scratch magnet, but I'm still a huge fan of it. Now looking in front of the phone, we're presented with this big and beautiful 5.7 inch 1440p panel with curved corners that I've actually come to like. Since the phone barely has any bezels, you're still able to use this phone with one hand comfortably and you're getting one immersive experience. Apps on this phone look amazing, but when it comes to watching videos both on Snapchat and YouTube, you're presented with this weird black bars on both sides of the screen. And that's of course because of that 18 by 9 ratio since the screen is really huge on this phone. I'm sure LG will fix this with the official model. In terms of specs, since this is LG's latest, you're of course getting the greatest, and that is a Snapdragon 821, 4 gigs of RAM, and an Adreno 530 GPU. This phone can also be expanded with a micro SD card up to 2 terabytes, and the phone also has a 3300 milliamp battery. Now looking further around this phone, we now have grey aluminum sides that make this phone feel considerably more premium than its previous predecessor. And also looking on the sides are the new separated volume buttons that feel kind of mushy, but I'm sure LG is going to fix this with the official unit. An awesome new addition to this phone is waterproofing, you can now submerge this without worrying about it being damaged. And another dope feature that we don't see in phones nowadays is wireless charging, so you can basically throw your phone in water and put it on a wireless charger. As far as the software experience goes, this is still rocking LG's UI on top of Android, and a new addition to the software is Google Assistant, which is pretty useful even though I don't use it as much as I would like to. Another cool new feature of the software is the always on display, you can now view your time and notifications without having to fully unlock the phone. Now looking at the camera, as I mentioned earlier on the back, you do have the dual camera setup. From my understanding, these are two 13 megapixel cameras. One of course has a signature LG wide angle feature and the other is just normal. From the couple pictures I took, I'm pretty impressed with it. And the front facing camera is okay, I personally don't take much selfies. Overall, that's basically it for this video, I really like the direction LG is going now. I'm a huge fan of the new design, especially the huge 5.7 inch display. I can't wait until I get my hands on the official unit. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you'd like to see a review on this phone. Comment down below if you have any feedback and check me out on my different social media sites. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at everythingtech5 and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Bye.